Health Minister Moses Jabati asserts that a number of factors have exacerbated the shortage of beds at the accident and emergency departments at hospitals. He laments that chief among them is the impact of violent injuries on healthcare facilities. Um, the government has said before, I have said a number of times, that the, 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 the impact of, of violence can be felt not only in our families and our communities, but also but also it has negative impacts on the operations of health facilities. You can well imagine the stress that the, the, the doctors, the nurses, the ancillary staff, the health aides and nursing assistants, everybody. You can imagine the stress when you have um, gun violence. What happens is a number of people who are at the accident and emergency department waiting for care and you can just imagine if you have you know, gun violence and you have those individuals who suffer wounds and so on, they have to be dealt with um, immediately and therefore that creates a backlog. You can imagine the, 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 mental, the mental wellness of, of our medical professionals. Baptist argues that lifestyle diseases may contribute to the lack of beds for patients in need. We are having stress at the hospitals also because whether we want to admit it or not, generally in our population, we, we have some, some serious problems with non-communicable diseases. We have an increase in hospital admissions. For the St. Jude Hospital, for example, this year over last year, we have a 294% increase in bed occupancy. 294%. The St. Jude Hospital, there are 50 beds and 294% increase in occupancy at the Owen King EU Hospital. The, the occupancy is, I mean, the admissions there are going over 100% over last year. We are seeing at least 26% of that um, because people have issues with non-communicable diseases and so on. And so the Owen King EU Hospital, for example, there, there, there are 120 beds. The, the Victoria Hospital had more beds than o OKEU. The health minister says the government is working to boost the number of beds at OKEU Hospital and expand and upgrade services at other medical facilities. At the Victoria Hospital, we have opened the secondary care hospital, which eventually will, we will see an, another 31 beds. So we are going to add, over time, 31 beds to the 120 beds we have at, at OKEU and we are going to add other services. We have added, not going to, we have added other services at the secondary care hospital and we are doing some more work at the secondary, at the Victoria Hospital to relieve the pressure, the Castries Wellness Center and so on. We are doing work um, on the Cuban eye, eye care clinic. The, this work is al almost complete. We are going to see the, the pressure being lessened at the wellness centers and we're going to have a state of the art facility with a brand new operating theater. We have purchased all of the, the new equipment already on island. So within a, a couple of weeks, we should see the reopening of the Cuban eye care facility. The St. Jude Hospital will also receive additional beds. We are, as we speak, expanding certain areas um, of the stadium to include more beds. Hopefully, we, we are going to see an increase from 50 um, inpatient beds to, to 66. So that gives us some additional beds while we are with the, the, the newly refurbished St. Jude Hospital. At the newly refurbished St. Jude Hospital, we are going to have more beds than, than we currently have. We're going to have at least 96 beds to, to start with. Medical officials will attempt to strengthen primary care at the wellness centers to minimize pressure on personnel at the OKEU and St. Jude Hospitals. Gina Filippi, HDS News Force.